Welcome to Core Style. Today we're doing a review series. We're going to be looking at all of the Rex Wax pomades, the three oil bases and the one water base, giving an idea of performance, differences between them, and kind of getting an idea what the whole line's all about. We're going to start with the light. Rex Wax All Natural Light Pomade. So we got Light Hold High Shine. It's four ounce glass jar, right? Um, the lid, although it doesn't need it, has the rubber seal on the inside. It's more important for a water-based pomade, but hey, it's there. As far as the appearance, it's pretty shiny inside the jar. Um, you're gonna have, uh, I mean, it looks, it looks really shiny. It's uh, kind of a spicy, woody, kind of a scent to it, and it's got a little bit of this like menthol, mentholated, kind of minty lift at the end. There's no mint in it, but uh, some of the scent um, essential oils that uh, are used at Rex Wax gave us a little bit of a, a lift at the end, which makes it not so heavy uh, smelling and uh, so heavy cologne-like, right? Your consistency and texture, I mean, it scoops very easily. I and mean, it's no problem at all. And it, it really has the texture of like the stiff lotion or a soft soap. Like it's just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of how it feels. Um, as far as the... Uh, breakdown. I mean, even looks shiny in the palm. And as most light oil bases, this breaks down with no issue at all, right? So as far as application, um, this is dry hair because I've started to put lights in dry hair and I've started to like how it feels. It almost... Um, it almost lets the pomade, especially the all-natural pomades, it lets them do more of their own thing, which I like. Um, I wasn't so hot on always putting light, especially petro, like traditional oil-based, petroleum-based, petroleum-based pomades um, in wet hair. It just seemed to, it seemed to have the oils and, and the waxes like slick on top of the water because they were like fighting with it because obviously oil and water don't mix. So, I've started to do it in dry hair, and I think you get a more true idea of the product. And this was completely clean, degreased hair, because we're going to talk about the buildup on this stuff in just a minute. Now, it goes in smooth. Um, if you have hair that's a little more coarse and it's hard to apply to, I would suggest a tonic, uh, much like the Rex Wax water-based tonic. This stuff is excellent. Um... But then again, you can use an oil-based tonic like the Big Slick or something like that uh, because you, you usually want to use a tonic that is the same base as your product. Now, sometimes you want to mix them. In this case, you don't. I like oil-based tonic for oil-based pumpkins. Although the Rex Wax water-based does work really well. So, pretty good application. Nah, this is dry. I'm missing some back here. So this is going to be three smaller scoops. That's the other thing I've noticed about having the wet hair is it tends to um, it tends to like really offset how much pomade you actually need or how much product you actually need and it makes it feel like you haven't put any in or you put too much and then when the water evaporates you don't get a, you don't get um, a realistic idea of the hold and the endurance so you know in a reviewing sense you really want to make sure to Keep it consistent. Now, strength, I mean, it's pretty good. It's going to keep hair up pretty well, right? Um, but this is a light. Its job is not to have big shape and, and huge round pompadours or, or, or side parts. It's not, not quite its deal. Um, although, this was a pretty good strength for a light. It didn't just feel like a big, you know, greasy mess on my head. Wash my hands, one second. Now, speaking of the fact that all the Rex Wax pomades are actually labeled as balms, 
Um, they all have this branding ball number 42. And that's because I've actually used uh, Rex Wax Light and Mint Madness as like lip balm, uh, dry elbows. Uh, I put on sunburn one time. I mean, it's it's really it's really good for a lot of that stuff, right? Um, as far as control, now that we already talked about the strength, I mean, this is going to straighten out most softer waves. But people with like really curly hair or naturally tight curly hair, I don't quite think this will do it. Um, but then again, you all that have pretty curly hair are well aware of it and are not usually using lights for that very reason. And that's understandable, but this could be one to try because it's so heavyweight in the, the, the butters. Because the ingredient list, you know, it, uh, we've got organic mango butter, organic lanolin, shea butter, vitamin E, avocado, and argan oil. So super conditioning properties, but then at the same time, because it is such a heavy weight product, it might straighten out even decent curls. I mean, it held my waves with no problem, but then again, when I'm using a light, I like a little bit of wave to pop in because I think it just makes it look real natural. It doesn't make it look like you did a slick back and just let it go and got lazy. Because at course style, we like a little bit of, well, attitude style. Um, now, slickness. We were just speaking about that. It is definitely slick. This stuff, hair sticks together with no problem. I mean, I can take my hand and just push this back and all except for this little pesky bugger back here, it is like staying together. It's not breaking or splitting. And, and, it, really, and it really feels like, I mean, I could do this right here go out with this look with no problem, and as long as it's not super windy, and even with a little bit of wind, this is not moving or lifting. I mean, look, it's not going anywhere. Uh, shine. Hmm. It's pretty damn shiny. Uh, this is this is one of the shiniest all-natural pomades I've ever used, let alone some of the shiniest I've used, period. Like, stuff that's labeled as high shine can't hold a candle to this stuff. And I like that, because sometimes... You want the look of product in your hair. You want that slick hair look, and sometimes I like that. So, because this product is a... I mean, it really has an old-school feel to it, right? So we're going to go with an old-school style. We're going to go with the side part. I'm not even going to get out this to style. We're just going to do comb. So, part finds with no problem. As you can see, like, the combing... This comb's going through with no real issue or tugging. I mean, there, you can tell it's a light. This just droops down like that, which, again, it's going to do that. It's a light. Now let's start giving this a good comb back. In the old school style, let's give it a little bit of lift in the front. Endurance, um, it... It pretty much held all day. The um, uh, the butters that are in this that are not only super conditioning and great for the hair, uh, they also um, they also do give a lot of lasting and staying power because you're not having to make up for you know a, a lighter a lighter weight product with waxes. This is this is. All of its lasting and holding ability is from the butters and the lanolin and the uh, essential oils and natural oils. Uh, hardness, obviously, it doesn't harden up at all. Restylability, um, it's a light, and even for a light, a lot of lights feel like they, they eventually fall apart or move on me, and this one, even throughout my day, felt really nice. I didn't have to screw with it. It just kind of stayed put really nice and soft, right? Um, when it came to the... Uh, when I did restyle, I used a pick, I used a comb, comb, no problem, right? I didn't have any problem getting this stuff to go back where I wanted to, and also because it's so high in butter and oils, it was very easy to move the part one side or the other and keep it soft and keep it moving. Uh, as far as washability, it is heavy on the oil, so I mean, one to two washes it was out. I do recommend a shampoo and conditioner for it just to make sure that you get it clean if you really want it fully clean like I did before I filmed this video. Uh, the buildup, 
It felt soft, like it was good. It was, the build up, because there's no wax in this product at all, I mean, it builds up almost cleaner than this does. Now, this is Lockhart's hair groom. This has wax, right? I mean, it's the same kind of idea, no shine per se, not shine like this does, but it, it is like that shea butter, castor oil kind of thing. And uh, I think one of the biggest differences, this has coconut oil and of course the wax, like I mentioned. This, it's just mango butter, shea butter, lanolin, vitamin E, argan oils. Like this, this is hair food in a jar, right? Um, a, a lot of concern about Rex Wax is its price. Oh my gosh, this is a $30 jar of pomade. I can buy others for between $9 and $15, $18 a jar. This is got this has organic ingredients in it. This has high quality ingredients in it. I do not spend my hard-earned money on crap that don't work. It's plain and simple. I'm not putting stuff in my hair that I'm not gonna well within reason want to have anywhere else in my body, and some of this stuff that I wouldn't want to put in my body. I mean I'm not saying eat this shit, but you know what I mean. It's that kind of clean and quality. Um Rex Wax is available direct, it's available from Hedgeline. And I will be putting um, links in the description box below to go purchase this stuff. If you liked the video, if you thought it was awesome, please like, subscribe, put some comments down there. Let me know what you want. And outside of that, we're done. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. And please, put good stuff in your hair. This is Core Style. Hope to see you again soon.